I experienced a wide variety of emotions during the relatively short time that I spent playing the steep beta. The first I was met with was frustration. This surfaced due to the linear and extremely tedious opening tutorial that all players will have to go through. And on top of that I also spent about 5 minutes stuck inside a rock almost immediately after booting up the game, which didn't really help things. After I had completed the tutorial, I spent the next hour or so having a ton of fun. The game opens up substantially, and it was an amazing feeling being able to explore such a huge mountain and partake in various adrenaline fueled challenges. Unfortunately, after another hour had passed, the main emotion that had consumed me was boredom. For about 60 minutes, Steeps tricked me into believing that it's something it's not. It's a game that flatters to deceive those who play it, luring them in with its beautiful graphics and stunning environment, but ultimately it's a rather shallow and repetitive game that most will see straight through after only a couple of hours of play. The premise of Steep itself is pretty decent, an open world extreme sports game set on a colossal mountain range, but it's the execution of this which the game fails miserably at. Along with walking or trudging slowly through the snow, Steep focuses on four different methods of mountain transport which can all be used to traverse the environment as well as compete in different events. I'll get the worst out of the way first, paragliding. Why anyone thought this would make a fun gameplay edition is beyond me. Paragliding itself is excruciatingly slow and dull, and in order to complete the paragliding events, all the player really has to do is hold the left stick down and steer. Fascinating. Next up is the wingsuit, and whilst I'll admit it is pretty fun soaring around the mountain at first, like the rest of the game after a little bit of time it soon loses that wow factor. The wingsuit events challenge the player to fly as close to the floor as they can without getting hit, whilst passing through the checkpoints. It's an interesting premise, but after a few events it begins to feel just like a little mini game that could be included in any other video game. In fact it actually reminds me of the flower bouncing digital trips found in another Ubisoft game Watch Dogs, which I'm sure is more than just a coincidence. The two other methods of transport remaining are skis and a snowboard, with both being selectable for regular races. I should note that I've hardly used the skis at all, due to the fact that I find the snowboard to handle a lot better, and let's be honest, the snowboard is a thousand times cooler than a pair of skis anyway. As well as regular races, the snowboard can also be used for freestyle events, which focus on accumulating points from performing tricks and dangerous feats. Whilst on paper this sounds like a pretty exciting concept, it soon becomes clear that SXX tricky this isn't. The tricks that the player is able to perform are extremely limited. All the player is able to do is spin left or right, do a backflip or front flip, or grab the board. That's it. There's no rails to grind or crazy moves to pull off, and for the most part the course layouts fail to inspire. These freestyle events in particular should be exhilarating and entertaining, but because the developers have focused on realism, they are unfortunately just as tedious as the rest of the missions in the game. Aside from competing in events, the player can free roam around the environment, locating various points of interest. Also, in typical Ubisoft fashion, the player can scan new watchtowers, I mean climb viewpoints, locate drop points, they are definitely called drop points this time. Yes, the player can use their binoculars to scan new drop points in order to unlock new missions and new areas to fast travel to on the map. Who would have expected that? Apart from these two mentioned gimmicks, there is little else to find in the environment. In fact, the entire mountain range feels lifeless and empty. There's no NPCs to interact with and no buildings that the player can enter. The whole thing feels like a soulless void that's almost impossible to connect with. Typically, the one and only time that I truly felt invested in the game was when I was partaking in an event that required me to travel from A to B, with B being quite a long distance away. I actually quite enjoyed the aspect of having to travel somewhere without really knowing how on earth to reach said destination. Just as I was finally starting to feel as I was part of the game world, a message appeared on the screen telling me that I was getting too close to the edge of the game map, which completely destroyed any sense of immersion that had been growing. I've already seen this game be compared to EA Skate series, but I believe that is doing Skate a great disservice. Despite their flaws, the Skate games felt vibrant and alive, and managed to contain just the right amount of realism mixed in with fun gameplay mechanics. Steep on the other hand manages to capture what it feels like to be alone on a snowy mountain, 
which is great if you want to be left feeling bored and cold. 